Welcome to Sports School's Yoga Center. I'm Mark Stevens, and this is a level two vinyasa flow style class. Vinyasa flow yoga synchronizes the breath with movement, both within and between the poses, in a way that helps to guide your practice, and also helps you to warm your body, to warm your breath, in a way that allows you to open more easily into the poses. The poses are linked together sequentially, in a way that builds heat, stamina, strength, and flexibility, while at the same time helping you to cultivate a sense of inner calm, relaxation, and presence of mind. A lot of people think that they're too tight to practice yoga. The truth is that anyone can practice yoga. In fact, the tighter that you are, the more you can benefit from the practice of yoga, especially if you're an athlete. If you're already very flexible, yoga will help to strengthen and stabilize your joints in a way that allows you to do other athletic endeavors in a way that's safer for your body. The most important part of vinyasa flow yoga is the breath. And we breathe in a very specific way, yogic breathing, which I'll explain as we come to standing. Please step your feet together at the front of your mat and draw your palms together at your heart. And just for a moment, close your eyes and draw your awareness inside. And I'd like you to open your mouth and breathe as though you're trying to breathe fog onto a mirror like this. Staying with the same sound and sensation of your breath, simply close your mouth and keep your, flow, your breath flowing just like this. Opening your eyes, release your arms down to your sides and turn your palms out. As you inhale, Sun Salutation A, reach your arms overhead, deep breath in. Exhaling, Swan Dive Forward, lengthening through your core. As you fold down, consider bending your knees to soften your low back and your hamstrings. Inhale, extending forward, lengthening your spine. Exhaling, step back into a plank pose and hold the plank pose. Press it into your heels, firming your thighs. Looking slightly forward, draw your shoulders down your back. Pressing firmly into your hands, take a deep breath in. And exhaling, slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Point your toes back, draw your forehead down so the back of your neck is long. Pressing into your feet, firm legs. Inhaling, reach your chest forward and up your shoulders, just level with your elbows. Take one more deep yogic breath in here. Exhaling, press back into downward facing dog. With your fingertips, your fingers parallel, fingertips stretching forward, relax your neck, let your head drop, and see that your feet are hip distance apart or wider, much wider if it's difficult for you to straighten your legs or if your heels are up high off the floor. It's also okay to keep your knees bent to relieve pressure in your lower back. Take just one more breath in here and empty your breath, simply walk your feet back forward to the front of your mat. Keep inhaling, keep lengthening your spine forward. Exhaling, folding in. Again, it's okay if you like to bend your knees as you fold in. Inhaling, coming all the way up, pressing your feet, leading through your heart, reaching for the sky. Exhaling, draw your palms back to your chest. Again, releasing your arms to the, your sides, turn your palms out, and inhaling, reaching your arms out and up, look up and see your thumbs. Exhaling, swan dive forward, leading with your chest. Keep lengthening as you fold into a simple standing forward bend. Inhaling, extending forward. Exhaling, again, either step or jump back to a plank. Take another deep breath in here. And exhaling, lowering down to a push-up pose with your shoulders level with your elbows or come back to the floor. Inhaling, again, either just lift your shoulders level with your elbows or press up into upward-facing dog pose. Exhaling back to downward facing dog. Again, check your alignment. See that your middle fingers are parallel and in line with your shoulders. Shoulders wrapping outward as though you wanted to wrap your triceps toward your chin. Stretching your fingertips forward. Begin to strengthen your legs more as you stretch down into your heels. Firm your thighs, pressing the tops of your femur bones back. Keeping smooth and steady breath. Take one more inhale here and empty your breath. Looking forward, again, either step or if you like, hop your feet to your hands, continuing to inhale, lengthening forward, exhaling, slowly folding in. Press your feet to come up with strong legs, firm in your thighs, lifting your chest, looking up to your thumbs. Exhaling, grow even taller as you draw your palms back to your chest. Once again, sun salutation A, inhaling, reaching out and up. Exhaling, swan dive forward, extending, expanding through your torso as you fold in. Inhale, extend forward, lengthening. Exhaling, step or jump back, slowly lower down, 
do the push-up pose. Inhaling, roll over your feet, press it down into your feet to firm your thighs up off the floor. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Take one more deep breath in here. As you exhale, press more firmly down into your heels and empty your breath looking forward. Again, step or lightly jump your feet to your hands, still inhaling, still lengthening. Exhaling, as you fold, firmly press your feet, making your thighs even stronger. Inhaling, come all the way up, leading with your chest, rooting into your feet, extending tall. Exhaling, your palms together back at your chest. Calm down, smoothing out your breath, smooth and steady inhales and exhales. Release your arms to your sides for sun salutation B. As you inhale, simply bend your knees and circle your arms overhead, either gazing down or if it's okay with your neck, up to your thumbs. Exhaling slowly, fold all the way down, exhaling all of your breath out in the standing forward bend. Inhaling, extending forward. Exhaling, step or jump back right to the push-up pose. Inhaling, rolling over your feet, press down into your feet to firm your thighs off the floor. Exhaling back, downward facing dog. On this inhale, extend your right leg slowly up behind you. Exhaling more slowly, stepping your right foot forward, see that your knee is directly over your heel, and inhale into warrior one pose. Stay here breathing, grounding the outer edge of your left foot, your left heel firmly down. Try to roll your left hip forward to move towards squaring your hips and shoulders towards the front of your mat. Take one more deep breath in here, and exhaling swan dive all the way forward and down to the push-up pose. Inhaling, roll over your feet, firm your thighs, lift and spread across your chest. Exhaling back to downward facing dog. Inhaling your left leg, extending up behind you. Exhaling, keep your hips close to the floor as you step forward and as you sweep your arms overhead. Deep breath into warrior one, either gazing forward or if you can keep your elbows straight, draw your palms together and try to shift your gaze up to your thumbs. Stay with your breath, take just one more deep inhale here and exhaling all the way down. As you lower, press into your heels, firm in your thighs as you find the push-up pose. Inhale into Upward Facing Dog, and exhale back, smoothing out your breath. Take just one more deep breath here in Downward Facing Dog. Stay to exhale, completing all of your exhale, looking forward, again, lightly step or float your feet to your hands and keep inhaling, keep lengthening. Excellent. As you fold, try to draw your weight more forward onto the balls of your feet, firm in your thighs. Bend your knees deeply, inhaling into chair pose, either gazing down or up. And exhale your palms to your chest, relaxing, smoothing out your breath. Take a deep inhale here, and exhaling, simply step your feet three and a half feet apart with your arms extended out. Lift your right heel, turn your right leg out 90 degrees, shift your hips to the left. Reach out as far as you can through your right side. Get maximum extension through your core, through your spine. Let your arm draw naturally down. See where it lands, either on your shin, your ankle, or foot. And revolving your torso towards the ceiling, look up and see your left thumb. Keep drawing longer through your right side, your shoulders drawing down your back as you spread across your chest. Press firmly down into your right foot, firming your right thigh, breathing deeply, your torso extending straight out over your right leg. Now pressing more firmly down into both feet, as you inhale, come all the way back up to standing and shift your feet, your right foot in, your left leg out. Extend out through your left side. Keep reaching as far as you can, firming your left thigh and let your left arm draw down, maintaining maximum extension in your spine, your torso revolving open. Reach your right arm straight up, gaze up and see your thumb. Continue to breathe deeply, pressing down firmly into your left foot, drawing your left hip, sitting bone under towards your right heel, Again, shoulders drawing down your back, spreading across your chest, breathing deeply, smoothly and rhythmically. A feeling of pressing your right hip down into your right heel. With that action, inhale, come back up to standing, turn your feet to parallel, bring your hands to your hips. Then walk your feet out a little bit wider, just about six inches wider away from each other. And again, turn your right leg out, your left foot slightly in, and extend your arms out to your sides. Gaze out over your right fingertips. Take a deep breath in here, and as you exhale, slowly bend your right knee, and as you do, guide it toward the little toe side of your foot, ensuring that your right knee does not go past your heel. If it does go past your heel, take a longer stance. And if it's not quite there, continue to try to bend your knee a little bit more deeply, but don't concern yourself too much with not going all the way out. 
Reaching out through your arms, your shoulders softening down your back, breathing deeply. Strongly press your left thigh back, rolling your left thigh open. Breathing deeply, shoulders softening down your back, reaching out through your fingertips. Be as calm and steady as you can. On your next inhale, slowly straighten your right leg and shift. Turn your right foot in, your left leg out. Exhaling, slowly bending your left knee. Again, until it's directly over your heel. Eventually, with your thigh level with the floor, knee directly over your heel. Smooth, steady breath. Keep rooting down into firmly into both feet. Your inner right arch lifting, energetically lifting your inner right thigh up. Smooth out your breath. On your next inhale, slowly straighten your left leg. And again, shift your left foot in, your right leg out. Exhaling, bend your right knee again into warrior two. On your next inhale, slide your left hand down your back leg, reaching your right arm over into a reverse warrior. Exhaling in slow motion, extend forward, bringing either your elbow to your thigh, or if you're more flexible, your hand to the floor. Initially the inside, or if you can, the outside of your right foot. Then revolve externally in your shoulder, turn the pinky side of your hand toward the front of your mat, and reach your left arm over. Breathing deeply, keep rooting down firmly into your left foot and stretch from your left heel through your fingertips, revolving your left thigh, belly, and chest open towards the ceiling. Stay with your breath. And on your next exhale, looking down, reach your left arm straight up. Now keep your right knee bent and inhale and come back to warrior two. Stay here to exhale. Inhale and slowly straighten your right leg and shift your right foot in, your left leg out. Exhale and bend your left knee into warrior two. Inhale into a reverse warrior, reaching your left arm over. Exhale, keep that extension, that expansiveness in your left side, either elbow to thigh or hand to the floor, inside or outside of your ankle, and stretch from your back heel to your fingertips. Stay with your breath, smooth and steady breathing. While revolving your torso open towards the ceiling, keep externally revolving your shoulder, again, as though you want to wrap your tricep towards your chin. And on your next exhale, looking down, reach your right arm straight up. Inhaling, come back into warrior two, keeping your left knee bent. And inhale, slowly straightening your left leg. Turn your feet to parallel and draw your hands to your hips. Taking a deep breath in, extending tall. Exhaling, as you fold, lengthening through your torso, Place your hands on the floor. It's okay to have your knees bent to relieve pressure in your hamstrings and low back. Inhale, looking forward, lengthening. Exhaling, folding down. Move towards, straightening your legs, pressing firmly into your feet, stretching the crown of your head toward the floor. If your head touches the floor, bring your feet closer together so you have even more room to lengthen in your spine, stretching long, rooting firmly down. Legs are firm. On your next inhale, extending forward with straight arms, lengthen your torso forward. Stay here to exhale and bring your hands to your hips. And with a flat back inhale, come all the way back up to standing. And exhaling, simply step back to the front of your mat, drawing your palms together at your chest. Now let your eyes open to a single point in front of you and keep your gaze focused there. In balancing poses, it's important to keep your gaze focused steadily, to be as calm, as focused as you can, to keep your breath alive so you can avail yourself of all of your internal resources, physically and mentally and emotionally being right here. So draw your hands now to your hips, moving towards eagle pose, bend your knees a little bit and lift your right foot so just the ball of your right foot is on the floor. Keep your gaze focused steadily on a single point in front of you, let the outer corners of your lips stretch out a little bit towards your ears. And then reach your arms out, let your elbows draw down, lifting and spreading across your chest. Now lift your right ankle up and cross it over your left knee, flexing your right foot a lot so that you protect the ligaments in your right knee. Now, if you're more flexible, try to draw your knee all the way across and hook it behind your calf and draw your left arm over your right. Palms eventually come together, lifting your elbows, press your palms away from your face. Breathing, try to bend your knees a little more deeply to find more stability in this pose. Smooth and steady breath. Just take one more breath in here. And exhaling, slowly come to standing. Draw your hands back to your hips. Smooth out your breath. Bend your knees a little bit, reaching your arms out. Focus your gaze steadily, staying in your breath. Lift onto the ball of your left foot. Lift your left knee and cross your left ankle over your right knee, flexing your left foot a lot so you engage the muscles and ligaments around your knee. If you can, draw your left foot around behind your calf and draw your right arm over your left. Lifting your elbows, press your hands away from your face. Be as calm as you can be. Press down into that right foot. Lift your chest, take one more breath in here. 
Slowly bring yourself up, your feet together at the front of your mat, palms together at your heart. Take a deep breath in here, and exhale and release your arms to your sides. Inhale and reach your arms out and up, look up and see your thumbs. Exhaling slowly, swan dive forward, extending long, folding down, relax your neck and let your head drop. Inhaling, extending forward, lengthening. Exhaling, step or jump back to push up pose. Inhaling, roll over your feet, press into your feet to firm your thighs, protecting your lower back. Exhaling, back to downward facing dog. Inhaling, slowly extend your right leg up behind you. Exhaling, more slowly stepping forward, knee directly over your heel. This time, stay up on the ball of your left foot. For more stability, you can take your right foot slightly out to the right, so you have more lateral, lateral stability. Inhaling, draw in your torso up, reach your arms overhead into crescent pose, and stay here. Firmly press into your left heel, the back of your left leg straighter and stronger. Keep pressing down into all four corners of your right foot. Take one more breath in here. And exhale and interlace your fingers behind your back. Press your palms together, draw your tailbone down and lift your chest. Keep lifting, expanding across your chest. Take one more breath in here. Exhaling, folding. Draw your arms over and down towards the floor. Keep pressing into both feet. And inhaling, come back up into the crescent pose. Stay here to exhale. Take a deep breath in. And exhaling, swan dive forward. Slowly lowering down to push up pose. Inhaling, pressing your arms straight, shoulders drawing back and down. Exhaling, back downward, facing dog. Inhaling, extending your left leg up slowly behind you. Exhaling, stepping forward, knee over heel. Inhaling, into crescent pose. Stay here to exhale, press down into your feet. Press out to your right heel, back of your right leg straight and strong. Little by little, feeling your way into your right groin, your hip flexors. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back, press your palms together. Tailbone drawing down, chest is lifting. If you like, if it's okay with your neck, look up or back. Take one more breath in here. And exhaling, folding forward, keep expanding across your chest, reaching your arms over and down toward the floor. Breathing smoothly and steadily. Inhale, back up into crescent pose. Stay here to exhale. Deepest breath in. Exhaling all the way down, resisting the floor with your hands as you slowly find push-up pose. Inhaling, draw the curve up your spine, shoulder blades through towards your chest. Exhaling back downward facing dog, smooth out your breath. On your next inhale, lift your heels as high as you can and bend your knees about halfway and then look forward and up the wall in front of you. Take a deep breath in and empty your breath, jump all the way through to sitting tall in a staff pose. Grounding down firmly into your sitting bones, extending out through your heels. Make your legs strong, inner thighs spiraling towards the floor. Press down into your hands and lift and spread across your chest. Now change as little as you can and simply slide your right foot in. Clasping your knee, sit up even taller. And now do the same with your left foot. Sliding it in, clasp around your knee, draw your lower back, your sacrum in, and lift through your, the front of your torso. Now slip your hands in behind your knee and lean back about halfway. Try to keep your lower back drawn in and lift either your shins level with the floor or if you can, straighten your legs and reach your arms straight out, breathing deeply in the boat pose. Smooth and steady breath. Take one more inhale here and exhale and come halfway down with your lower back firmly on the floor, press out through the balls of your feet, draw your breath halfway up, forcing your exhale out through your nose like this. Feel the work in the center of your core. Take one more inhale here. Stay to exhale and inhale back up into the boat pose. Exhale and cross your legs over, place your hands at your sides. Take a deep inhale, pressing your hands lift up off the floor. One more breath in here. Exhale, releasing down, clasp your knees and lift up out of your lower back. And again, the boat pose. Slide your hands in behind your knees, sitting up tall, let the outer corners of your lips gravitate towards your ears. Lean back a little bit. Lift your shins either level with the floor or extended forward with your arms out in front of you. Smooth, deep, steady breath. Your inner thighs spiraling down towards the floor as you press out through the balls of your feet. Keep lifting the front of your torso. Take one more breath in here. Exhaling halfway down, your palms together over your thighs. Keep 
Keep stretching your lips towards your ears. And as you inhale, come back up into the boat pose. Stay here to exhale and cross your legs over again. Either rock forward, placing your hands in front of you or with your hands by your sides, take a deep breath in. Exhale, pick up, reach your feet through and jump back into a push-up pose. Inhale into upward facing dog and exhale back to downward facing dog. Simply come down onto your knees, keep your toes curled under, sit back onto your heels, bring your heels together and your knees apart. Extend your arms out in front of you, stretching your hips back, reach out long through your fingertips. And now simply slide first one hand back, your elbow under your shin, your wrist underneath your shoulder, and do the same with the other hand. Wrist shoulder distance apart, directly under your shoulders, elbows outside your shins, your knees as high onto your upper arms or shoulders as you can. Now pressing into both your hands and your feet, squeezing your knees in, move first towards straightening both your arms and legs. Keep your knees squeezing on, look straight down. Try to lift one foot off the floor and then put it back down. Do it with the opposite foot and eventually lift both feet off the floor at the same time. Balancing here, breathing, lift your belly to your kidneys, your kidneys to the ceiling. Take one more breath here and either simply come down or reach your chest forward, your feet back to push up pose. Inhaling, lift, spread across your chest, looking up and upward dog. And exhale back to downward facing dog. And again, lift your heels, bend your knees, jump all the way through. And this time slide forward and lay down onto your back. Separate your feet hip distance apart and let your knees rest together just for a moment, relaxing, smoothing out your breath, and calming down. Slide your heels in a little closer to your hips, hip distance apart, knees directly over your heels, place your palms down on the floor. Take a deep breath in, expanding in your chest. Exhaling slowly, empty a breath, feel your tailbone slightly curl, and then press more into your heels and lift your hips up as high as you can. Try to interlace your fingers under your back and then shrug one shoulder and the other shoulder under just enough to relieve the pressure on your neck. Press down into your heels and lift your hips higher. Stay in your breath. Deep and flowing, smooth yogic breath. Take one more inhale, lifting your heels, reaching your arms overhead and slowly roll down. Slowly all the way out. Once your tailbone touches, let your knees release together, your arms down by your sides. Absorb yourself in the sensations you feel in your body, smoothing out your breath. Once again, and draw your heels in close. Feel that your feet are parallel. Take a deep breath in here. Exhaling, tailbone curls, lifting your hips. Interlace your fingers, shoulders draw under, breathing. Press your heels to lift your hips higher. Keep pressing your tailbone forward. Breathing smoothly and steadily. Try to press your elbows and wrists firmly down, drawing your sternum towards your chest. Inhaling, lift your heels, reach your arms overhead. Slowly rolling all the way down onto your back, releasing your arms down to your sides. Let your knees rest together and completely, completely relax into the pose. Now extend your left leg straight out in front of you and draw your right knee into your chest. Flexing your left foot, press out through your heel and extend your right arm out to your right side and gaze out over your right fingertips. Keeping your right shoulder on the floor, take a deep breath in and exhale and draw your right knee across your body toward the floor. Be more interested in keeping your shoulder on the floor than getting your knee to the floor. Over time, with more flexibility, you'll eventually draw your knee all the way across to the floor. Smooth and steady breath. This simple twist will help to relieve pressure in your spine, allowing more ease in your breathing. Draw your right knee back into your chest. Hug it in for a moment. And extend your right leg out, drawing your left knee in. Extend your left arm out, gaze over your left fingertips and draw your knee across toward the floor or to the floor. Smooth breathing. Try to focus your breath as though you're breathing through your heart. Deep, full, expansive inhales. Each exhale, allow your body to release a little bit more easily into the pose. 
and then simply come back to center, drawing your left knee into your chest. Draw both knees into your chest, hugging your knees in for a moment. And then roll over onto your right side, press up to sitting, and extend your legs out in front of you. Come back into the staff pose with your feet flexed, your legs strong, pressing down into your sitting bones, pressing down into your hands. Sit as tall as you can. Allow yourself a sense of ease and relaxation. Slide your hands down your shins. See if you can clasp your ankles. It doesn't matter how far you go. Take another inhale, lifting tall. Exhale, folding out, out over your extended legs. Let your neck relax and drop your head down. Keep your legs firm, press out through your heels, stretching long through the core of your body. Smooth and steady breath, calming down your breath. And inhaling, going slowly all the way back up and simply rolling down onto your back, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down. Lift your legs and draw your legs overhead onto the floor behind you. Interlace your fingers, draw your shoulders underneath, drawing the weight off of your neck and onto your shoulders. Press down into your feet, pressing your thighs up, get more length in your spine, and then bend your elbows, drawing your hands onto your back as close to the floor as you can. Slowly, either one leg or both legs together, extend your legs overhead into a shoulder stand. Press out through the balls of your feet. Breathing smoothly and steadily. If you feel pressure in your neck here, back off of the pose. Keep pressing out through your legs, inner thighs spiraling forward. Smooth and steady breath. Feel your heartbeat slowing down, your breath starting to settle. Let your gaze rest lightly either on your belly or the tip of your nose. This pose will help you to calm down. It helps to integrate all of the other poses into your body. It also stimulates your thyroid, which helps to regulate your endocrine system, which is the key to your immunities. Staying for two to three minutes in the shoulder stand will greatly help you to stay healthy and strong in all of your athletic endeavors. Slowly draw your legs back down overhead into the plow. Release your hands down onto the floor towards the front of your mat and slowly roll down all the way out onto your back. Releasing your legs down to the floor. Relaxing your hips, let your feet turn out. Relax your shoulders down, turn your palms up to the sky. Take one more deep breath in here. Hold that breath in. Sip in a little more breath. Just open your mouth, let it go. Ah, completely, completely relax in the final relaxation pose. Start by letting go of your breath. Just let your breath flow however it naturally will. Little by little, your breath becoming softer and quieter. Feel your, your body as heavy as can be, completely, completely supported by the floor. Dropping down, relaxing in your shoulders, your arms, your back, your hips, your legs. Just watch and sense inside what's happening. Quieting down, becoming more still, at rest, completely, completely at peace. Please stay in the final resting pose as long as you would like. And as you bring yourself to sitting, notice a sense of calm, relaxation, and inner peace and vitality. The qualities you cultivate in your yoga, strength, flexibility, and balance, you can bring in, in any sport that you play. Please join me again at Sports Schools Yoga Center. See you in class. I'm Mark Stevens. Thank you very much.